Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new painting tutorial, and this time I'm going to explain how I paint the Blood Warriors that are from uh, Age of Sigmar. So I'm going to paint one of these guys in the camera, and the other ones are going to be painted uh, at the same time in parallel. So here we see the example of one that is a red bands, or just the base colors, I have to say. And now I will explain what are the, how we start the paint job on this uh, miniature. So the first color I'm going to use is from a scale 75, this is going to be the metal I will use, it's called black metal and it's really a very dark uh, metal color. So scale 75, I use the wet palette and yeah, normally the pigment will separate a little bit over time so you need to stir a little from time to time but what we are going to do is we are going to apply this scale 75 on all the parts we want to be metallic, okay? So I'm going to apply, for example, on, on the shoulder pads, on the spikes, axe, all the parts that I want to look, I want them to look uh, really like uh, uh, dark iron, okay? So I'm going to apply that, I'm going to, for example, the knee protection, Okay. So I'm going to do that. We'll apply this base color on all the parts where I want to have this metallic look. And I will be back once this cap is done. So I have applied the metallic in most of the parts. Most likely we will need to go back and retouch some of the parts just to have idea where to put all the base colors and now I'm going to start applying Dumbul Brown this is going to be the base color for the leather I go for a lighter leather just to have more contrast with the dark armor uh, you can use other browns if you want but yeah, I wanted to go for this one so we are going to apply this on the different belts, boots and uh, different parts where we want to have leather so yeah, I do that, again, thin layer, base color, so I will apply that, and I'm back once this is done. <coughs> okay, the brown have been applied, and now I'm going to apply uh, Retributor Armor to do all the gold trimming on the armor. So. Just take this out Use it to fix the pot. So I'm going to. I'm more likely later on we need to play again the the black metal because I realize that I I, I miss some spots. But first let's put the tri the trimming. I like to apply the base colors to see how everything is looking like. And then, as of this point, I can start. Uh, yeah, doing the details, washes and so on. So I apply that and again you see that Retributor Armor covers very well on top of black. So I do that and I back once it's done. Okay, the gold trimming is done. Okay, and next I'm going to use uh, golden, it's called golden skin from a scale 75. Okay, to do some of there is some skin, some skin that is exposed to these guys. Okay, so we have, for example, the the fingers. have here part of the arm I suppose and in some guys we have the face or we have other parts so in that case I'm using this skin tone you can use any skin tone that you like <coughs> sorry okay. so 
so we will apply this color you can see it's covering quite well most likely we need two layers on this guy on this one okay so I do that play this base color here we see all this part visible and I will do as well the mouth on the belly I don't know really what is the problem of this guy on the belly I think here they took the idea from the let's make a mouth we're going to play this and then later on we're going to paint that but it's just to The helmet, I think. The just checking. Wondering if the if the base of the face is open or not in the case. Okay, so I do that and I come back once it's done. So the skin have been done. I at the end I did the lower jaw as well. Now I'm going to apply a, a screaming school on the different bones and school decorations that he has. So we are going to apply this on this thing he's, he has here. Okay, this type of animal school. And I will do the same on all the different, uh, as well on the blade of the axe. I will do it like if it is a bone axe. So I apply this again, base color, try to be thin, and we will need to do some cleanup. So I do that, and I come back once this is done. So now all the base colors or the main base colors have been applied and the next step I'm going to use, I'm going to start doing the washes. So I will use Reglan Flesh Shape to put a wash on the gold parts as well as on the skin. Not try to avoid the bone on this stage. The bone we are going to, I will do it with Seraphine Sepia. So we are going to apply this. all the gold brass parts okay and this will give still giving depth and making the 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 gold color look more reddish okay and starting from the head we are going to apply this on all the different parts. Okay. So again, there is no much mystery on these steps. Uh, just make it carefully. Don't miss any spot. Okay, and try not to go too much in the parts where we don't need the wash. Okay. So I will keep doing that. Also, for example, on these ones that are really flat, is where we want to apply it. Okay, this will give quite interesting shading to the gold brass what you want this <coughs> to represent okay you see that makes it look more interesting so I will do that 
on all the different on all the brass and as well we want to do that on the skin parts starting with this type of mouth that he has on the belly that looks more for me Nargo than really corn and with as well the arms that looks like they are exposed without armor okay so we I keep playing that on the gold on the flesh parts and I will be back okay reclam flesh shade half the buy okay so here you see how it looks like and now I'm going to use seraphine sepia on the bone parts okay so we'll start with the axe This nice shading with seraphine sepia. And we are going we are going to also highlight not highlight, sorry to shade the this is skeletons of skulls. I'm going to do as well this thing. The, this big skull here. all I think so now we wait this way before doing any other step so the previous wise the seraphine sepia have dry and now I'm going to apply Agvac air shade on the uh, leather parts okay so I'm going to do this on all these leather parts and again, we wait with this device for the next step. And we are going to have now the miniature ready to start doing the highlights. We need to work a lot on the metallics and on all the different parts. Of it. Okay. Let's have some parts of the. We need to work on the mouth too. So I apply this on all these leather type of things, boots, belts. I have a lot here in the inside of the arm. handle of the weapon for example here I realized that I make a mistake with why I have to drip down so I wanted to clean up this thing here let me see if I can at least take a little bit out <coughs> We are going to do more lively another wise later on, so let's just apply this here as well. Okay. And now we are going to wait that this device. So wait that this device and I will be back. Okay, next step, I'm going to use heavy metal, this color, to start doing some highlights and scratches on the different metallic parts. 
So we are going to use, for example, here on the knee protection. I will go on this thing. And then. Do something like that. can add some scratch a little bit thin okay I will do the chain here We can go for a lighter metal. Okay. And we keep working all the different highlights, so simple let's do this this one here it's want to do is to add interest <coughs> sorry for that to add interest and make the, the metallic parts look less flat And then to do the chain mail, we use a bad brush, and that is a little bit damaged already. This is this one, for example. And we are going to apply more like a divider brush. Very gently. Okay. Okay. <coughs> 
coffee. Okay. So to be a little bit more visible. Okay. So I will keep doing all highlights on the metallic using the heavy metal. interest on this pair. So no we try to do the bottom part of this thing. Okay, so I will keep doing that along the metallic part and I will be back for the next Okay, I have highlighted the metal I did as well these vocals here and other stuff I will need to, to work a little bit more on the metal, but now uh, just to keep working I want to work on the gold a little bit. So I will use Auric Armor Gold uh, to start highlighting the gold in different parts and try to give depth. So what I'm going to do is, for example in that case, go through this and then okay we will do the arrow here
is to give depth to the gold to highlight as well these cone symbols So we keep highlighting all the gold <coughs> Okay, just to make it look more interesting Got up the details. Okay, so we'll do the rest of the brass gold parts. Maybe we'll be back once it's done. So the gold is no trim. I have done all the highlights, and the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the uh, brown part, the leather. To do that, I will use first um, more from brown, and then a skak wood. Crack brown. Okay. You can see that the miniatures still get taking shape now.
Okay. Let's see, so it will do like that all the different uh, bells and the other wood. I did the highlights on the leather and now yeah I will stop here this uh, the part one and in the second part I will go more onto the details and do the bone and other things. Maybe the second part is going to be shorter but this is becoming quite long and I want to edit and create the second one to go more in detail and not be but not have problems to edit the video. So here we have the part one on how I do the blood warriors and uh, not the traditional color it's more uh, this type of um, dark metal plus uh, the gold trimming or brass trimming and, and yeah and I will stop here and keep uh, tuned if you want to see the second part and see how I finish the work so that's all for now as usual uh, looking forward for your comments give a like if you have liked this video and thanks a lot for watching and see you again later bye